What is up, everybody? What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. And I hope that you know everybody is having a healthy time. And why do I say a healthy time? Because, but well, in case you don't know, and if you aren't living in Malaysia, oh, well, the haze is bad. Yeah, you know what we are talking about. That freaking haze of all things is back. And well, it's here earlier than it's a little earlier than usual for it to occur because usually. If it happens in the year, it usually, it usually occurs on September. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. this time it's happening around August. It's quite early, quite unexpected in a sense. So, yeah, I know it's very terrible. You know the bad air quality. Mm. If you go outdoors, you're smelling all the smokes and everything. It's, that's right. That's yeah, it's right. not ideal. It's not good at all. So, yeah, and you know, um, we, normally we blame our neighbors, the Indonesian farmers. Home, uh, around this time of the year start their traditional hack and slash burn rituals where they chop off crop that has yielded it returns and then they start burning them away because you know that's a very fast way for them to get rid of it yep. you know so usually the Indonesians are the ones to blame but uh, hear this out in certain regions of Malaysia um, Malaysians themselves are responsible so Malaysians themselves are conducting open burning you know, the, uh, we yeah. saw this in Sarawak, so you know, it's not uh, just in, uh, Indonesians, Malaysians are also doing it, so we are also contributing to the haze. Yeah, obviously, I mean, we are not, we are, we are not picnics ourselves. I mean, everybody in a sense, if within the region, if they do a lot of open burning, usually it's going to contribute to a lot of haze. Whether it be open burning or maybe like they say, burning the, the soil underground or something. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so well, let's not talk about that. Let's not like talk about it because it might turn into like a blame game or whatever. But what we're just saying is that you know there's the haze around. What can we do about it? What should we do about it to you know make our lives a little easier when all of this is happening? Because we have to wait until once this haze subsides and then we can go on with our lives normally. But until then. We might have to take a little bit of a precautionary approach. Just to keep safe and to keep healthy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially for, you know, the two of us here, we are in Penang right now and the haze is quite bad as well. Pretty bad. Yeah, no, I mean, not as bad as other states, but it's still pretty bad. Yeah, because uh, regions like Gulugo and Georgetown has an air pollution index of 98 and you know uh, a few points up and we'll be going to the unhealthy area already so yeah we're bordering on unhealthy right now yeah and this is us here in Penang which is in the northern part and the western part so we're quite far off from all the haze and everything but we can still experience it so that's this basically tells you how bad it really is mm-hmm. from where it's originating from all right so well, you know, we have a few tips that uh, we're going to share with you as to how you could keep yourself safe and healthy and to not, to not let the haze affect you in any other way so that you can go on with your happy daily lives. So I'll start with this tip that I have. Uh, number one, obviously, stay indoors. Yes, of course. Because, well, when you go outdoors, you're going to get exposed, exposed to all to that the haze, smoke so... and you're going to become barbecue sauce. At that point, at the end of the day, so yeah, and you know, um, well, we're not saying that you should, you know, uh, cage yourself out at home. We're just saying that you know, if you could avoid going out, um, uh, you know, do avoid lah. You know, if you could work out at your home with a few set of you know equipment, well, do that instead of heading out to the gym. Yeah, stay indoors. Of course, make sure that. I know it's a little counterintuitive, but if let's say there's no proper air ventilation indoors itself yeah you leave some leave the windows open a little bit but not too much mm-hmm. you know you still got to get air inside the house but not too much so that the haze can actually get in yep. yeah but of course in an ideal situation if you're indoors and you can close all the windows and everything probably you know maybe it's time maybe you got to say turn on the air conditioning system maybe I'll turn on your aircon a little bit because it can help to purify the air to a certain extent but of course, if you have an air purifier at home, it's time to use it. Yep, so if you've got air purifiers at home, use them. And uh, even your air conditioners at home, uh, you, you should really check out uh, how what the, what the state of the filters are in those air conditions. Because, um, 
if you like me, you know, if you don't regularly clear your aircon, right, the filter, right, then you know the dirt and and whatnot accumulates. So you know, clean your filters out as well. Yeah, definitely. Once you clean your filters out, and then it can do its job, which is to make ensure that you have the cleanest air yeah. possible. Mm-hmm. So yeah, mm-hmm. close all the windows, turn on the air conditioning system, or even an air purifier, and make sure that you stay there if you have to. If you, if you can't, if you have to go outdoor, well, if you have to, then you have to. But otherwise, you know, stay indoors. Stay right. indoors. And you know, this, then this next tip that I have is to those of you who can't ever forsake the active lifestyle, right? So, um, that we can't definitely avoid going out. And then, you know, if you are like a sports avid fan of running and etc. Or playing sports like tennis or football, you know, you would love being outdoors. Um, but here's the thing though, so it's during the haze, uh, what we would recommend you is to, you know, we can't stop you from going out, so don't go out. But you know, even if you do go out, don't strain yourself when you're doing these physical activities so that you don't inhale much of this uh, air that's not really that good for your body. Yeah, so this is the good time where you can go to the gym. It's better to go to the gym and indoor point. gym, yeah. Yes. An indoor gym. Yeah, I know it's probably not ideal but you know go to the gym and use like the shred meal or whatever if you want to run because if you go outdoors and you inhale all the air very deeply well guess what you're gonna inhale a lot of that hazy air and we don't really want that all right and well the next thing i have is wear a mask <laughs> oh that's the that's the easiest you can everybody can probably yeah. do and everybody Precisely. should probably do cheapest. it yeah it's the cheapest you just wear your mask and I well, hope that you reduce the chances of those polluted air entering, entering the system. You, yeah. yeah. So wear a resp- respiratory mask, guys, and you know, make sure that it's able to filter out all airborne particles from the air that you're inhaling. So uh, also remember, you know, you're not supposed to use surgical mask. You're supposed to use a respiratory mask. So I think if you, you know, just ask this in the local pharmacies, and I think they'll be able to help you out. Yeah, there's a clear difference between one and the other. If you get the surgical mask, it's gonna be just like... Well, you're not doing surgery anyway, so you're not a surgeon. We need the kind of mask that will ensure we are as healthy as possible. And of course, what we have already talked about, you know, being indoors, wearing the mask, that's pretty mm-hmm. easy. But, well, for those who tend to, you know, uh, smoke, which mm-hmm. is nothing wrong, it's fine as well. But maybe during this time, it's best to... Like really cut down on it or to not to really smoke cut down, at all yeah. because yes because when you're smoking you're already having an amount of like the nicotine and everything in your system but to add it up with the haze as well it's like double the dosage yeah so maybe like since the haze is around maybe cut down on it for now and maybe wait until the haze is over and then well you can go back to it nothing wrong with that that's right guys you know this is all so that you could avoid any chance of contracting any respiratory infections. Yep, that's all. It's very simple. And of course, drink more water. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, my, my mom will keep telling yeah, my mom, drink my water. dad, family, <laughs> even certain people will keep telling us, you know, drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water. Then I'm starting to think, what's so important about water? I mean, yeah, you know, air, right? drink, I mean, breathe in good air, but what has water got to do with it? Yeah, well, you know, I think... Uh, <laughs> I get this tip all the time as well, you know, and you know, whenever I'm stricken with anything, be it sore throat, be it fever, be it flu, you know, be it uh, whatever it may be, the, o- the only advice that I'll keep getting is drink water, drink water, as the water like could solve and cure everything. But yeah, what water does is water would help uh, your kidneys flush away the toxins in your body. So, you know, less toxins, you know, help the, the more healthy you are. Well, we're hoping that that is the case. Because if water is such a miracle, or not to say a miracle, but such a lifesaver, then well, drink more water. Drink more water. Start drinking a lot of it. The hydrated, I mean, the more hydrated lots you are, and the lots of it. Yeah. Yes. So if you are indoors, you are at home, make sure you drink clean water. You know, not dirty water. Clean water through a water filter or anything that can ensure that you get the best quality Precisely. possible. Speaking of drinking, you know, good clean water. If you don't have that, if you don't have access to such Clean water. Well, mm-hmm. you can always consider our brand Cleanseway. Oh yes, definitely, guys. So um, if you if you think your water that you're getting at home is subpar, 
if it's brownish or if it's yellow in color or if it smells then you should definitely get a cleanser water filter because cleanser water filter can remove all the contaminants in your water turns your water from yellow to white and removes all traces of odor away from your water so normally this problem we see in old houses like because the pipes are old you know so the metal in the pipes uh, tend to seep in into the water and you know and that's how it end up you know contaminating your water and making your water yellow lah. but uh, don't worry cleanser water filter can actually help you solve these problems and ensure that you get clean water all the time definitely and of course they are our episode sponsor so they're sponsoring today. this episode yes. yeah because you know with the so haze give them a shout out. and it being that bad so <laughs> and you need to drink a lot of water well cleanser is here to help us and to help you as well so if you're interested and if you need clean water urgently well Go to our YouTube description. There's the link over there. We'll add the link. Yeah, we we'll add the link, so and then you can check out some of Cleanseway's products. Most of it is related to water mm -hmm. and everything. So check it out, and definitely you know stay healthy. And speaking of water, other than well drinking, mm -hmm. another part where you can also do, which is very simple, is to just you know wash your hands and your face. I know this is very, it's a very standard procedure. Even if we don't have a haze season, we should still do it. Right. Yeah, we should still do it, but when the haze is here, it's even more important that we do this more. All the more reason, yeah, guys. All the more reason. Wash your hands and face, you know, to prevent all that dirty air from sticking in your face, sticking in your hands and everything. Yeah, you don't want to bring those bad particles back to home and, you know, infect anyone else. Yep, definitely. So, wash your hands and wash your face. It would make things good. And other than that, when you're having your breakfast, your lunch or your dinner at home, or in the office or anywhere you know in a restaurant or an outlet make sure to sort of cut down on all the really greasy Unhealthy. meaty deep fried kind of meals for now all fat and sugar yeah, yeah yeah i mean what what we found out is that like for me i always like to eat a lot of like deep fried stuff in the past and when the haze usually comes around i get sick more often okay but now i don't really like touch wood fortunately that occurrence has reduced significantly because usually or in that type of period, just eat healthily. Obviously, eat, you've been eating healthily. Eat stuff now. like salad, you know, more vegetables, cucumbers, broccoli, tomatoes. Yep, that's right, guys. Fruits and vegetables will improve your immunity and they'll reduce the likeliness of you falling sick during this hay season. Yeah, because, well, vegetables like fruits and everything, they help to make ensure that all that free radicals in your body, all the yeah. dirty air, yeah. you know, gets flushed out. Yeah, it's also like a cleansing effect. Yeah, and lastly, um, the final tip I have for you guys is visit a doctor. Yeah. So you know, despite doing all that you can to control yourself and to prevent yourself from getting infected or getting affected by the haze at all, you know, you might find that you just end up falling sick anyway. So you know, it's unfortunate if that happens, but as soon as you notice something is wrong with your body, uh, you should definitely visit a doctor and you should. Uh, let them know what you're down with and what the symptoms are so that they'll be able to attend to your sickness immediately definitely so worst comes to worst if really nothing works anymore go to a doctor and make sure that you get the, be you get the best treatment possible that's right guys because health issues can escalate when you're constantly exposed to a hazy air like now so definitely go to a doctor yep definitely so don't just sit there and you know let the haze affect you or get your mood down take some precautions take some initiative ensure that you have the best water the best kind of food uh, and of course stay indoors for as much as possible yeah breathing all that good air so yeah just take and some precautions right. yeah prevention is better than cure so we just we can only be i guess more careful in these few weeks at least until the haze has subsided and speaking of that, go do it now because we, you know, we are indoors here and we need to take care of ourselves. Take care of yourself as well. Yep. So, so take care guys. Yeah, take care. Uh, remember no. the steps that we've told you. And hey, we'll see you again. Yeah, we'll see you again. Take care, breathe good air, eat good food, drink good water and if worst comes to worst, go see the doctor. Right. right. And a quick shout out. So if you like our content, do leave us a like, a share. And you know, if you have any ideas on what we would like to talk about, or you could let us know in the comments. And yeah, signing off. Yep, yeah. this has been Linkf Kopi C. Bye bye. bye. bye.